they love morning show. That's why we have the encouraging story of the day. And actually, you can share your encouraging story. Just bragging on God. What is he doing? The miracles happening in your life. 800-900-1300. So Diane has some good news. Okay, well, I'm actually on my way to my last radiation treatment for my breast cancer. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. How do you feel? I feel fabulous. It's been remarkable. Um, everyone keeps calling me that, and I say it's not me who's remarkable. I have a remarkable king. And through my entire cancer journey, God has not only been present, he has been just using me to bring him to others. And I've had no symptoms. I've had no side effects, even through my chemo, through my surgery. And today, in about 40 minutes, I get my last radiation treatment, and I praise God the whole time. I pray, I sing. It has been incredible, and it's one of those things that people get cancer, and you choose what to do. You choose to accept it and to move forward, and you say, yes, I'm going to do this, or you choose to say, I'm just going to be so full of sorrow. But I didn't choose that. I chose God. I chose Jesus. And what happened with this is there are non-believers that have learned about Jesus because you have to rely on the Lord. And for me, my husband, who is not a believer, has seen me walk through this, not with my head down, but with my head high and with my prayers and on my knees. Praise God for just the fact that I'm alive. Oh. And not only am I well, but I'm, I'm more than well. I am absolutely healed. Wow, Diane. So you never let cancer get you down. Not at all. Oh, that's awesome. And with your wording, you said you either accept it and move forward or the opposite. What I hear you saying is you didn't necessarily accept cancer, but you accepted the challenge, teamed up with God and said, okay, let's take care of this. I, I did. And the thing is that through the whole thing, that the song that inspired me was Who Shall I Fear? And I realized that there's no one to fear. There's no thing to fear. There's no cancer to fear as long as you walk through with God. And it is for anyone who's going through cancer or for anything at all, it is something that you grab onto. And every day when you wake up, you say, I choose to take this next step because I know that God has already taken a step before me. And that's what I look for, his footprints. I look for his footprints every day. And he's already there. Kayla.